Hey there, welcome to Biz Intelligence. In this video, we will take a look at how to refer to previous row in DAX. In earlier video, we have seen how to refer to previous row in Power Query Editor. If you haven't watched that video yet, I will leave the link of that video in I button and also in the description box of this video. Go and watch that video as well. Let's take a look at the data set we have for this example. We have loan amortization data where our fields like payment date, schedule payment, extra payment, total payment, and principal interest and ending balance. We are missing the billing, uh, beginning balance field here. So we will have to calculate the beginning balance field which will have the value of ending balance field of previous row so that user can get to know what was the beginning balance before paying EMI and what what is the ending balance after paying EMI. So we will refer to the previous row and get the value of ending balance which, we, which will be the beginning balance for the current row. So let's see how to do that. First step that we need to perform is to add an index field which will have the row number for each row. To do that, we will have to go back to the Power Query and add index field. So I will go to Home tab and here let's go to Transform Data, click on Transform Data and here you can go to Add Column option and here we have option called Index Column and let's click on From 1. So this will add index field which will have values starting from 1 incremented by 1. You can see them here, values from 1, 2 and so on. So now let's go to home tab and load this data back to Power BI. Close and apply, close and apply. Now we have index field ready and we can use one of the DAX function called lookup value to refer to the previous row and get the value of ending balance field. So let's see how to do that. We will go to home tab and click on new column. This will add new column into our data model. Let's go and name this field as beginning balance. Let's use lookup value function first argument is result column name which will be the ending balance field next second argument is search column name one which will be the index field so what we are gonna do is we will search the previous row index number and get its value and in this case lookup value will be again index field but this time we will subtract one from it because the let's take an example of second row the index number for the second row is two and if I subtract one from it, it will be one. So lookup value will be one and it will try to find one in the index column. So one will be found in first row and it will get the value of ending balance. Now let's close the lookup value function and hit enter. You can see we have our result ready. Here what lookup value function does is it goes and subtract one from the current rows index field value which in this case it is uh, number two for the second row and it will search that number one in the index field which is available in the first row that means its previous row and it will get the value of ending balance field. So this is how you can use lookup value function to refer to previous row using index field and lookup value function. If you are new on our channel then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos. Do not forget to like and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.